I can tell you Trayvon's parents will attend a forum on Capitol Hill and we're standing by uh, for their meanwhile before heading to uh, Washington Trayvon's parents attended a town hall meeting in Sanford last night that's of course the city where the son was gunned down and last night Trayvon's dad Tracy Martin he got real emotional talking about the bond that they shared person for him says uh, Zimmerman is very remorseful that he's cried for days uh, since this incident. Joe Oliver, he's a former CNN anchor actually and has been speaking to the media on behalf of Zimmerman. He says, boy, you, you just feel for him watching him too because you can see how torn up he is about it and how he can see both sides of this, uh, he, as he says. Now, Oliver uh, says Zimmerman's being treated actually for post-traumatic stress disorder and depression, in case you didn't know. Some feel it would have been out of character for Trayvon, though, to attack Zimmerman, as it's been alleged. Jerome Horton was Trayvon's football coach. He's known Trayvon since he was five years old. And last night, he told Nancy uh, Grace that Trayvon wasn't an aggressive person. He you can watch Nancy Grace tonight as well as she looks at George Zimmerman's self-defense claim and what it means under the law. Catch Nancy at 8 and 10 p.m. Eastern only here on HLN. Now, you just heard how Trayvon's football coach characterized the 17-year-old, that he was a great kid, that he was not confrontational or aggressive. That's just one of the many angles, by the way, on this story that you're going to find at HLNTV.com slash Trayvon Martin. Now, every year... Distracted driving kills 5,000 people and injures 400,000. Today, the National Transportation Safety Board is meeting to see what can be done to make the roads safer. Lizzie O'Leary got a first-hand look at the perils of driving while distracted. Her full report, by the way, coming up on CNN's The Situation Room. It's at 4 p.m. Eastern, so check that out. You know, if you're not quite sure what President Obama's new health care bill is all about, well, it was round two at the Supreme Court today as the justices heard about two hours of arguments on President Obama's health care plan. So we heard the numbers. A lot of people want the health care law, as you heard, overturned. It seems an even larger number really, at the end of the day, just don't understand what it's about. A and how does it really affect or impact you? Dr. Sanjay Gupta. You just did? So okay, so this yes. guy... We all know he really knows what he's talking about. People don't understand the law, how it affects them. Uh, I know you received hundreds yeah. of your requests. blogger wrote, I keep hearing can push insurance companies into kind of a dangerous zone. Well, that, that in here. Isn't preventative care so to Absolutely. make when you're going to the doctor? And congratulations to Sanjay. It's time to take charge of your career. If you're looking for a job, you may be asked to work for free as part of the interview process if this happens to you. Fortune Magazine says work for free assignments are typically reserved for the top three to six job candidates, so it could be a sign that you're closer to uh, landing a paying job, just so you know. Well, heartbroken parents lost their teenage daughter in a car accident. Her heart lives on inside a 64-year-old man. They stay safe there. Uh, the Gerdner family was devastated when they lost their 15-year-old daughter, Alicia, in a car accident. They still feel close to her, though, because her donated heart is still beating inside a 64-year-old. All righty, two thieves got away after a smash and grab at a jewelry store. And when I say... Do you remember that mom who lost her legs protecting her kids from a tornado? Well, she is out of the hospital. Oh, I can barely get through it there. Doctors say Decker could begin walking with prosthetics in three months. Now, getting the Deckers home ready was really a labor of love. I mean, family, friends, even a high school baseball team pitched in to get the place in tip-top condition. And as Tamara Evans from affiliate WDRB reports, everyone went the extra mile to help this family. Oh, good people there. Our thanks to Tamara Evans, too, from affiliate WRB, WDRB, rather, for that report. Listen to this one. An Easter egg hunt in Colorado's canceled this year because the parents got too rowdy. Uh, organizers also say it's gotten more expensive to put on the Easter egg hunt, but they will consider bringing it back next year. Trayvon Martin's death gotten a lot of past the hour right now. Uh, Trayvon Martin's supporters are taking their calls for justice all the way to the White House. Some D.C. area, by the way, are attending a forum on Capitol Hill, and that's about 30 minutes from now. This shooting, though, as you know, has brought thousands of people out to events across the country. And I just want to make sure that you noticed some of the new pictures that were airing of Trayvon Martin and George Zimmerman. Now, I want to show them to you again and give you a little bit of an explanation here. We've had some questions. HLN is going to continue to be transparent with you about the pictures that we show on air, so you can count us to provide context to you whenever it is necessary. And I just wanted to give you an explainer there. We did take a fresh look at the police report after learning of Zimmerman's claims reported by the Orlando Sentinel that he was punched uh, and, and shoved to the ground by Trayvon Martin. 
Now, last night on HLN, Dr. Drew talked with Judge Karen Mills Francis, the host of Judge Karen's Court, and she has a real unique perspective on Trayvon Martin. Listen to this. Tonight, Dr. Drew is going to have more on the shooting death of Trayvon Martin with Bill Maher. That's at 9 p.m. Eastern, right here on HLN, of course. I want to let you know we're following. Let's get down to another story here. A New Orleans cop has been suspended after an online rant about Trayvon Martin. He posted the comment on a local TV station's website in response to an article about a weekend rally supporting Martin. And here's a multiple choice question for you. What word won't you find on city-issued school tests in New York? Dinosaur, Halloween, birthday, or slavery? The answer, all of the above. The city says companies that are competing to revise some school tests need to avoid certain words because they could make kids feel bad. For instance, is the federal health care reform law unconstitutional? That question has ended up at the Supreme Court. There have been a lot of passionate arguments over the past two days. We're going to give you a live update because what's really at stake here? Stay close. Well, it was round two at the Supreme Court today as the justice has heard about that two hours of arguments on President Obama's health care plan to come down in late June, which is also going to be interesting since it's before uh, the elections, which everybody is watching. But let's talk about this case with you this afternoon, I should say, 243 right now here in the East. I guess still warning for all of you out in the West. President Obama caught an open, caught on an open microphone, seeming to ask Russian leaders to wait until after the election to make any big decisions. Well, the Republicans... We are getting reaction from Republicans and from the president now after yesterday's kind of open mic incident with the Russian president. So in case you missed it, here's what happened. Now, other Republicans, too, say those comments prove, they say, that President Obama is only focused on getting reelected. The president says the whole thing is just being overblown. And that missile defense system, as you know, is a huge issue between the U.S. and Russia. The U.S. says the system's necessary to defend against a potential attack from Iran. Russia doesn't want more missiles close to its border, so that's a part of the whole debate there. Have you heard? Brothels are being legalized in Ontario, Canada. The province's highest court ruled prostitution laws there are unfair and that prostitutes should be able to work in a location under their control. It'll be at least a year now before there are any legal brothels, and the court says soliciting business on the street that's eh, still a no-no. This ruling could end up applying to all of Canada, though the government may appeal. You know, police say they found a seven-year-old boy biking along a highway at 1.30 in the morning. But that may be the least shocking and disturbing aspect of the story you're about to hear. So uh, please let me forewarn you that some of these details are just appalling. I just don't want you to... Well, a 40-year-old construction worker turned into a crime fighter and chased down a suspected bank robber. <laughs> you can tell that guy knows how to tell a good story. The suspect was arrested and charged. Police think he may have been involved in other bank robberies as well. All right, I'm just going to ask you, what would you do if you won $363 million? That is the estimated jackpot for tonight's Mega Millions Lottery. It's the third largest ever. The cash option is about $259 million before taxes. The game's played in 42 states and D.C. I don't know if anybody here is... Do you want a photo with Newt Gingrich? Well, it's going to cost you about $50. The new photo charge comes a week after Gingrich's camp released information showing they spent about $200,000 more last month than they raised. A campaign spokesman uh, says they also have a fundraising website where supporters can buy shirts, hats, and even a dog bandana. I know you want to hear this. Eating chocolate could make you thinner. <laughs> no kidding. In a recent study, people who said they ate chocolate more often we're more likely to have a lower body mass index. But other research researchers say the people in the study self-reported their meals, and people with like a good one, doesn't it? All right, do you remember these images from the tornado? It just devastated Joplin, Missouri. It was last year. And people in that town are still recovering. Well, the community hasn't forgotten, and they raised more than $100,000 for the victims. They did so by setting a record for the longest basketball game in history. Our affiliate KSDK has more. Thanks to it, Talia Kaplan, too, and affiliate KSDK for sharing that story with us there. You know, Jennifer Lawrence is already a friend of George Zimmerman. Got real emotional when talking about the Trayvon Martin case. Look at this.